you know, you, there was a, there was something I did years and years ago with a guy called Christian Sharp, who's now the SNC back at Sydney Uni, and he he was writing a thesis on scrummaging, and I just bumped him, and uh, he said, "Oh, he's a, he's a mad." Mad Pom, Mad Irishman, and he goes, mate, do you want to give me a hand? I said, yeah, mate, I'd love to. He said, we're going to go out to uh, Lidcombe and we're going to, all these pressure plates and we're going to do something. Are you keen? I went, well, yeah, because this will help me prove my theories about my six principles. He said, oh, sweet, let's do it. So we went out and did it. And we had Alan Alatoa, who was a kid at this stage, and, you know, we um, there he is, you know, in all his glory, and we put these balls all over him and, you know, we had cameras and, you know, plates and, and I'd never seen all this stuff before. So it was great. So we let Alan just go for it, you know, like let's go mate, smash into it and see what happens. So we let him go for about half an hour, just smashing into it. And what we found, he, Alan was strong because he went, he, he was a Newington boy. And so I saw, I knew who he was and had a look at him and stuff like that. And w- what we found was on the engagement, if we just let him go for it, you had a massive spike of weight. So, well, let's just say a nominal, it was a hundred. So he did 100 on the on the thing. He'd come back down to 20, and then he'd go back up to 30 and then flatten out. So we let him go for about 20 minutes. Ooh, are you still there? Yeah, mate. Um, yeah. Sorry, just something came through on my phone, just blown yeah. up. Um, and we found that if it went to 100, it came back down, and then, it, and then it was all over the shop. So what we did then was we said, right, let's do a bit of coaching with him. So they gave me about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and Al was pretty good. Like He, he, he was pretty handy at that age. So we changed a bit of his style. We changed his feet position. We changed his hips, changed his shoulders, and went through his six principles and stuff. And bang, 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 bang. And then we started to hit it. And I said, well, what we want to do is be able to catch weight with your hips. And that's, you know, you, you, your feet have got to be on the ground. So that's your ankles and your knees and your shoulders and all that sort of stuff. And we ended up getting it. So we could got a spike of 100. And we, we kept it up there for only, it might have been only half a second. And then it came down to about 40. And then we got him back up to 45. So we proved the point that, if you can catch weight with your hips, with your feet, hips, and shoulders, then you can keep the weight on, and that's the way scrummaging I felt was going. Is whoever could hit hard, maintain force, and then just drop off a little bit. So it proved a lot of my theories, and then and Tristan, Tristan, sorry, went on to write the thesis about scrummaging, and it got no one was keen on it for about five years, but they ended up publishing, and he and he got it in. But it proved a lot of theories for me, and it also disproved a lot of theories for me as well. Like you know. Um, which was great. And that sort of set me up. This is going back 10 or 12 years now when he did it. And it sort of really set me on the path of, yeah, well, I'm right. I understand what I'm trying to achieve and I'm right here and I'm wrong here. So these are, this is where I want to go with it. 